Artist here. Welcome back to another episode of Magi Craft. In the last episode, I have defeated the Ender Dragon and I got to explore the end a little bit. And in this episode, I'm going to attempt to defeat the Wither. And if everything goes well and we have some, and if I have some extra time, I might start getting into another magic mod called L LD. I don't know how to pronounce it, <laughs> probably on the screen somewhere. Um, yeah, a couple of changes before we get into the episode. Um, there has been some updates to my custom mod. Um, for one, um, all the changes will be in the change log on the mod page. I've noticed that there have been a couple of other, uh, some like some more downloads on it, which I've been pretty pro um happy about we're almost to like a hundred it's like 85 downloads now which is crazy but since like the new changes is number one um like my wings they're a different texture now and they have some animations so all of the wings in my custom mod they all have new textures and they have these animations so there's one animation for when you're not flying and another one for when you are flying which is pretty nice there has been some other texture changes to like um some like a block and then some of the mods mobs <laughs> in my custom mob as well as a model change for one of the blocks as well as one of the mobs so yeah you can check those out um, I'll link my mod in the description below and yeah another change is that I have installed some new mods they're not really like they don't some of the mobs like one mod is just like it adds like a custom like addition to one of the other mobs mods <laughs> that I'm using and it's botani trees it was just an add-on to like the botani pots um that allows me to grow trees and I was able to grow some trees using it and right now I'm growing some pumpkin because I need some pumpkin and if I have 20 I can make more um, iron golems for the wither boss fight and yeah and another mod is like the more player models mod it's not um, on the internet you'll have to go into the more player models discord in order to get this mod and I've changed my character to look a little bit like an Enderman. Well, it's not, I haven't changed much. I can't really change the height of my character because the hat doesn't really um, follow the head, like the height for some reason. So I can't really change the height of my character, but I did change the length of the arms. If I go into the um, customization, um, I don't know. Yeah, so this is what the normal Ender Chibi looks like. Actually, no. Um, actually, hold on. This, um, yeah, like the Ender Chibi, like, it's kind of, I don't think it changes the height. But, yeah, this is what the normal Ender Chibi looks like. Or maybe I changed it, I don't know. But, yeah, it kind of looks a little funny, though. So, um, uh-oh, uh, I might have, um, okay, there we go. There's the, that's, uh, my normal, um, thing that I did so yeah I've changed my arms so it looks my arm is a little longer and yeah it's pretty cool um there is other mod a mod called the um I don't want to go into uh my because it, it shows up in the main menu and I don't want to um go out in the main menu but I'll put it up in the screen and I'll take a screenshot and put it up on the screen but it basically allows you to make custom skins and custom models for the player and you can upload it for other people to share. It's a really cool mod. I haven't dealt, I haven't um, went into it because um, I may or may not use it, it depends, but it's a pretty cool mod and if you're interested in stuff like, in something like that, you can feel free to download it. So yeah. Um, so what I want to, like I have, I've prepared a little bit. I don't have a lot of golden alp apples though, but I have made, um, like for the Ars Novo mod, I have prepared a few more spells, like I unlocked a few spells. So I think I haven't shown you this. I don't exactly, I think I made this off camera, but I have tried playing around with it. Um, I don't think, um, 
this spell i don't know if i'm using this spell right but it doesn't really work maybe i just need to change the order maybe like this because when i was playing around with it it wasn't exactly working so before i do anything i'm going to um well actually first i should um change my game mode <laughs> like my difficulty um also i yeah texture pack i forgot to mention that a couple of new texture packs um and then i was in the mood to try out um this one that i that i've been using sometime like i discovered this texture pack a long time ago when i played um mcpe and i really liked it so i tried converting this texture pack into um into like like i used like a texture pack converter and converted it to um 1.16.5 and i and not only that but i also like found a couple other texture packs and kind of like combined them like with this one um if i can go into my resource packs um, this is what I have now. A lot of texture packs that I'm using. But yeah. Um, I didn't notice that for some reason this texture pack as well as this texture pack. The textures for some of the mobs. I don't know what's the issue. But I noticed that some of them were kind of glitched out. I'm not sure how to fix it. I'm not sure what causes it. But yeah, you can see the cow. It's like all weird. And I think, yeah, the sheep were all messed up. One of the pigs are messed up. My cat texture doesn't seem to work. So yeah, that's an issue. Um, another change is that, well, update really. I fixed my pet, um, my pet area. So it's fixed, all my pets are safe. They're doing well. Um, I wonder if I will be, you know what? I want to heal some of my pets. I'm going to do projectile, um, heal, heal, other, I'll create that, and let's see if this will, ooh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do, oops, oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, does it, um, heal, okay, there we go, I'm so sorry. I meant to click the other button. Please forgive me. There we go. So now I can heal my other pets, which is nice. Um, I want to make sure that all of my pets are doing all right. Can you please scooch? Can you scooch, please? Hold on. There we go. You gotta scooch. I need to heal my snail. There we go. Um, there was another... Um, I have healed you. Oh, I don't think- I think you're at max health. Because it's not doing anything. Um, gotta double check. Okay, so you're healed up. Um, let's see. You, alright. Okay, so you're good. Alright, wasn't there another bird? There we go. Alright, so it seems like all of my, um... Pets are all right now. <laughs> I did mean to hit one of them. It was a complete accident. But yeah, so that's the update with my pet area. Um, I've also um, dabbled into astral sorcery. Like I um, went in further into the mod, and I have been attuned to a constellation. So I've um, changed. Like I've. Um, added some new additions like I've changed like the layout so like I have a telescope now um, And I have my attunement altar. I do have the replay mod installed. So um, hopefully I can show myself um, cause I was re I had the mod recording while I was like Getting further into the this mod. So hopefully I can show myself getting attuned and um uh oh um uh, <laughs> lag spike and yeah so like i've added um this here oh. like yeah um i don't have my book on me i need to show like i changed oh out here a little bit because i was like following the tutorial while i was doing this i'm not sure 
this was this is the purpose of this thing right here is supposed to give my um altar more starlight but i don't see a difference honestly um i don't even know if it like i don't know maybe once i upgrade this to the final tier maybe um it will make a difference oh but it is um getting nighttime because i have discovered some new constellations and stuff like that so like i turned on back the skyblocks for astral sorcery because i can't really use shaders because of um mana and artifacts and shader doesn't really the shaders doesn't really work well with um astral the the astral sorcery skybox either so since i'm not using shaders i just decided that it would i should just turn on back the skybox so that i can see the constellations in the sky and it's pretty cool my telescope and everything pretty nice um let me go back um and get the book because i have perks now and I attuned myself to a constellation that gives me more like attack damage so um if I could am I even um uh, oop, you know what the book is probably in one of the chests back there I need to go back um let me go back to the astro and see if one of my if my book is in here yes my book is in here so as you can see there's like a little every time i hold the book there's like an experience bar that shows up next to it oh i hear a zombie <laughs> and every time i attack mobs i get experience points so i'm at level 11 and i have a lot some new constellations i don't know i don't think this is all of them i still need i think i still need to Get further into the mod and i have some perks i have i i'm getting like more projectile damage or melee damage i have a gem socket and i have a gem that increases um you know like that gives me extra effects oops um let me just put that back in and yeah so this is this will help me um like defeat bosses easily I don't think I have any mods that, you know, um, allows, that adds in new bosses. The only things I, oh, uh, that's annoying. That's annoying. Can you leave? Oh no, not a creeper, not a creeper, not a creeper, not a creeper, not a creeper. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Stupid phantoms. I hate these things. They're so annoying. So annoying. I need to sleep. I, I, I need I need to no. Goodbye. Die, please. There we go. Thanks. Um so yeah. Um I'm gonna go go and sleep. Um uh, I don't like dealing with phantoms. Okay, yeah, see my cats are all the textures are all messed up. I don't know what happened. Um, I'll probably have to figure out what the issue is. But yeah. Um Okay. So another thing before I forget is that um I've like um fixed up the terrain of my area a little bit. As well as I finally um because in here like, I don't think I even showed this in one of the episodes. This is where, like, I put all um, my Tinker's Construct smeltery. And, like, before this was just... I just dug this out and have decorated it. But now, like, I've decorated it. And I'm thinking maybe this is probably, like, if... I don't know if it... I probably might end up, like, putting some more stuff in here. Um, probably, like, I'll, like the next magic mod. I'll probably put it down here or somewhere else. Depends. But yeah, so hopefully, oh what in, ooh, I got some stuff for another mod that I do need to get into. I'm just going to put all this in here and get ready to fight the wither. So I've watched, like, I looked some stuff up online and I tried getting some stuff ready. And what I need to do is, um, I'm going to try and fight the wither underground. So I'm going to need to find a place away from my base. And I need to dig down to like 
about between level 40 and bedrock i think so let's see where can i go um maybe if i pull up my map um maybe i can because i want it i want to be really safe i want to be like i really want it to be like out of the way and everything so maybe um ooh, you know what maybe i uh, I don't want to put it near any biomes. Well, it, I don't know. Um, you know what? I'll put it um in this desert over here. Um, yeah, I'll put it near this desert. So new desert cave is what I named it. So let's go. Um, new desert cave. I'll teleport. And yeah, um, this is pretty, cause this isn't where I want to have the wither fight. So I'm going to need to dig down. Um, I'm at lot Y47. So I'm going to need to dig down. Um, and I think I need to get up to around um, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try and see, like, why 13 I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try and put it there. Uh, um, I'm getting into a cave, and I think I hear things. Need to be a bit careful. Why am I getting into th this cave for? No, that's not where I need to be. Okay, this is not. <laughs> That's fine. Maybe if I dig this way, <laughs> this way instead. So yeah, I'm going to dig out this um hole, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right. Uh, I have built a room for the wither to reside in. I have my infinity bowl, some of my um some tools. Uh, I need to get out my ice spell, and I need to, um, I need to summon wolves, and yeah, I'm really, really nervous. Um, let me get out the uh, three skulls. Um, let me get out one, two, oh my gosh, I am so nervous. All right, um, let's see. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Um, can you scooch? Can you scooch, please? Can you scooch? Can you scooch? Gotta move out the way. Gotta move out the way. Stop pushing me. I need to get ready to flee. Woo, 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 woo. Oh my gosh. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Oh. oh, oh, that's not good. Okay, I can't, I can't. Oh no. That was quick. Holy crap. And there were stupid caves everywhere. Oh, and rip most of the iron golems. Oh, you served me well. Dang, that was fast. Wow, that went well. Yay! I got the nether star. And of course, there was a freaking cave right there. Oh, there's caves everywhere. Not ideal. Not ideal. But I got it. I got the um. I got the wither, and I have a wither rose as well. Um, I don't know if that came from the wither or not. Uh, let's see. What can I use this for? I can use this to upgrade my book. I could use this for the tiny mob farm. I could use this for Rilakri, 
kind of also like as well as a beacon i can also upgrade these jeez it would seem that i would need a lot of these i wanted to do stuff in action in like different models and stuff all right um okay well i have i still have more um <laughs> that was kind of um anticlimactic but um i do have more um so i don't think this iron golem is going to survive this one um but i am going to do it again because i need i need stars so one two three there it is uh all right all right all right what in the heck what oh, clip Oh no! Poor Wither! Um, Iron Golem! Up! Oh. Where is it? Where is it? Mm. Get over here! Okay. I need to eat. I need to eat. There. Did I get another? Yep. I got another star. Please don't. Um. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. That's wither number two. Um. Alright. Um. Let's see if I can build up um some of my uh my tunnel back okay i got some more wither roses mm. my inventory is full i can't fit anything else all right um heal i need to heal this there we go. Here you harm. Uh Alright, so I have two. Um how much would I need? So I would need one to upgrade this book, and I really do want to upgrade this book. I would need one um if I wanted to I mean I don't really use the mob farm. But, uh, I could use that. I would need four. Um, I don't know what I would use this for. Um, there's that. Um, I know I could. Um, here's the other spot for the beacon. Uh, for that. Uh, okay. I'm gonna do it one more time, and yeah, I can. Get, we can get started on the next magic mod so i'm gonna get this get this yeah i only it's not like i can do another one after this anyway because i only have two skulls left um and i got the skulls from um the plant <laughs> like oh uh, you know um attain drops mod like i got the skulls from you can plant these and you can grow these so that's how i got a lot of them in the first place um all right all right uh one two three Ooh. last one let's see how this goes mm. oh crap 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 uh where is it where is it? 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 Ah. Wow! 
Why is it get up in my face for? Stop hiding, you coward. Well, I'm hiding, but stop. Why are you going up into the thing for? Uh. It's so dark. Okay, so I can't shoot it. I can't shoot it. Third one. Yay. Alright. Um, that's the third one. Third and final one. I'm gonna need to <laughs> find it. if I'm gonna um battle the wither again, um I'm gonna have to pick a new spot. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's done, and it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Well, it didn't take as long as the Ender Dragon. Um, it was pretty easy. Um, I did hear on Bedrock it's a different story, though. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty lucky it's not as bad in the, um, Java edition. Um, that's, uh, uh, um, let me just heal. There we go. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go back home. And uh, why are these all? I'm gonna go back home and we can get started on the next mod. Okay, now that I am back home, I can get started on the next mod. And the next mod is um. Ooh, I don't know what exactly um it does. I just saw the name and what it has in the mod and I thought it was pretty interesting. So yeah, I'm so here's the book. Um I have a lot of stuff in my inventory. Um I'll clean it out a bit later. Um Alright. So let's see. Here's the monsters. I've came across some of these types of zombies and I've seen this in the wild as well yeah um rituals or actually ores lead ore I feel like I'm gonna need a lot of these so um I have oh I have pewter ink on but I think it was from getting it from like the uh like the structures that it would sometimes um spawn in the world um, I thought I had some lead somewhere, um, or some lead ore, but apparently it's, uh, not here. So it looks like I'm going to have to go, um, lead, I'm gonna have to go mining. Uh, let's see, let, uh, let me just put some of these things back. Okay, so I put some of my things away, um, I need to put these, um, in this proper spot. Now what would I need to use for uh, use this for pewter is iron ingot and lead ingot and I have some of those I can make blocks with it. Enchanted ash is um okay um do I have any enchanted ash? I thought I had some actually I think it's in a barrel in my entrance so if I can just um yep some of these and also have my music discs. Mmm yeah. Rituals Brazier. A brazier is used to initiate magic rituals. All rituals are initiated by placing an item atop the brazier and then lighting it with a flint and steel. So I'm gonna need a flint and steel. Um the brazier can be exchanged once looked with empty hand a lot already dispelled. Here's the higher. Okay, so yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna need <laughs> I'm gonna need these rock coal and sticks and these ooh, stone installed slabs as well as an necrotic focus. Um. Wait. So is this kind of like um necromancy or something like that? Uh, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to start. Um, all right. Um, maybe I can start with um 
creating abrasures. So, um, that's going to require me going mining. <laughs> so, let me, um, put some of these things away. And let me go and search for some lead ore. Okay, I got 18 pieces of lead ore. Um, I guess I'll have to go mining off camera and get more, um, lead ore. Um, I wonder, actually, I don't think I can create lead ore from anything from this mod. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna need some iron. I have some, uh, computer ingots. So, yeah, I'm going to, uh, uh, I think six is fine. Six is fine. Alright. That's 18. I'm making six of these. And do I need to... Yeah, I need to smell these. Alright. Um, and then I'm going to need stone and stone slab. I need... Ooh, do I have a lot of stone? Yes, I do. Do I have a lot of slabs? Not a lot of slabs, but I have some more stone. I'm gonna make some stone slabs like this. There we go. I think that's too much. But oh well. Um, I think I can just do this, right? No? How do I make it again? Oh, like that. Like this. And then... 16. Is that enough? I don't even know. I'll make some more, just in case. Alright. I have some more pewter thing. Now to make the brazier. I need stick and coal. Sticks. I have a lot of sticks. And coal. I don't want coal really. Um. I'm going to make five. But that's fine. Make seven brazier's. Alright. I hope that's enough. All right, crystallization ritual. The ritual crystallization allows the harvesting of soul shards from the reanimated. Just after the ritual consumes the last component, it will destroy all nearby undead creatures, leaving a few soul shards in their places. Uh, huh? And then, okay. Common wraith, drown, moon skeleton. Okay, ritual of alluring. This ritual of alluring is supernaturally designed to from a large range of animals will gradually be drawn towards its epicenter. Ooh. Um, I feel like this is going to require me to do this outside. Alright. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go and Put this outside. Um, right after I sleep. Okay. And all right. Now where's perfect? Um, I think I'm just going to, um, just put it right here for now. Uh, I'll figure out a better spot for it. So I would, uh, hmm. I'll need a rose bush, a golden apple. Oh, if I wanted to make shoal shards, I'm gonna have to do the crystallization with shoal first. And I need bone meal and two redstone dust. So, I'm gonna have to go back. Alright, um, so I don't think I'm gonna need to light up this area. Um, station. So, what do I need to do? Oh, so the brazier is the uh, epicenter. Well, the center of it. So, um, uh, so, yeah. And that's what those things were, the other things are for. Alright, um, I'm gonna need, uh, well, you know, this is a perfect spot. <laughs> Alright, so, razor in the middle. 
So let's get rid of these. And for this, I need two of these. Um, I kind of want to one right here, one right here. Put those right. Oh, nope, not what I want. Um, so if I just did this, would it do anything? I'll probably have to do it at night. Okay, so that didn't do anything, but I think I would have to, um, you know what, I'll probably, well, you know what would probably be easier? Um, if I got some golden la not golden um lassos captured some undead mobs and bring them to uh my ritual probably be a lot easier if i did it that way so you'll i'm going to go and get these and i'm going to go and capture some skellies and what zombies and whatnot and i'll be right back all right so I have gotten some undead mobs, most of them were zombies, um, so I'm gonna go back to my, um, um, setup that I have. Um, where did I have it? It was over here, I believe. Um, I should probably put some lights down, um, I think I forgot to do that before, um, so that I don't have any uh, mobs come in and interrupt um, what I have going on. Well, actually, here's an undead mob over here. So I'm going to put these down. I'm going to put these down. The skeleton is going to shoot me in the butt, but that's fine. I have this here. All right, um, there we go. I got some shards. Woo! All right. Um, oh, there we go. All right, I got 12 of them. That's pretty cool. Um, so what would I need to do afterwards? Um, I would need to ritual repelling, time rituals, ritual purifying. Seems like I have a couple of rituals um, I could do. I could do. Um, artifice? Um, I wonder if it'll be... I think maybe I could try, um, getting to the artifice. I don't know, I'll have to look into this mod a little bit more. But I think that's it for this episode of Magic Craft. Um, let me go um, into my home and I can end the episode there. Oh Jesus, I have a couple of arrows sticking out of me. Um, but yeah, but that's it for this episode of Magic Craft. Um, in the next episode, I'm just going to go further into magic mods and stuff like that. And yeah, so anyway guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you like this episode, why don't you like it? And if you want to see more, subscribe. Um, yeah, so until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye!